Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tanya, nice to meet you. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do so by clicking the subscribe icon below and then also the bell icon. That way you can be alerted to all my new videos that I post. So I do talk a lot about having a prosthesis. Um, it does, you know, get in the way a little bit sometimes when you're getting ready in the mornings. So I wanted to do a review today, a couple reviews actually. A friend of mine asked me to do them for her because um, she has a prosthesis as well. And one of the things um, was, is it easier just to pull your hair up in the morning when you're getting ready or um, could, or should you use like a microfiber towel? Um, personally, it doesn't matter e either way to, in my, in my instance, in my case anyway, um, I can use, you know, put a towel on my head, do my makeup that way, or you know, sometimes I'll blow dry my hair and then I pull it up. Um, today I am going to use a microfiber towel just to kind of see um, if how much it does like soak up because my hair right now, I just got a shower, it is pretty wet. Um, my morning routine usually consists of uh, getting up, taking the dogs out, working out, and then getting ready for work. So today I'm going to use, it's called the microfiber um, hair, hair um, wrap, I'm sorry, um, and it's called, it's by Sleek. So um, this one right here, if you can see, I hope you can see it okay. It's by Sleek, and I'll also have it in my comments below. Um, so this is about $15, 20, about 20, 15, 20 dollars. So it's not too bad on price. Um, I haven't yet opened it, so that's what I'm trying to do now. So I can see how it works. I've used other microfiber towels, but I haven't used this one yet, so I'm not sure how it ties up. Okay, so came with like a little rubber band on there, kind of keep it looking nice and neat. Like pretty cute little white towel, which I don't really know why I went with white if I'm gonna do makeup in it. So that's probably wasn't the best choice for me. And then it looks like it works just like every other one I've had, so. Basically, you just put this over your head like you look like you're in the clan or something because I got white. That's probably not great to have right now. And don't mind me without makeup. Okay. Now I just got to find the bottom of the tie. And this is not a good look on me. So just to let you all know, you might not be the prettiest when you're doing this because this is going to wrap up and it's going to tie. Some of my hair is not in it. I'm just trying to show you kind of what it does do. So it does pull your hair back and then if it comes out, I just tuck mine back up in there. This one doesn't, this one feels a little big. I'm not going to lie compared to my other ones, but I'm sure if I messed with it a little bit, it would look a lot more appealing. So um, it's very extremely soft, um, one thing. So that's really awesome. Um, another thing is it comes with this little button and then this little clip, just this little rubber band just goes right around it. So it's super simple to put it in your hair. And then I am going to take this off because I have another review that someone asked me to do. Um, wondering if they could put this on their prosthesis. So this is gonna be by um, Per Lessons. It runs about $20, $25. You get the rosemary oil and then the uh, rose gold brush there. I'm sorry, the facial warm. Uh, it's facial oil, it's hydrating. I love hydrating stuff. As I'm getting this ready, I just did, I wanna tell everyone. I went to TJ Maxx the other day. I don't go there very often but I found this magnifying mirror and it clips onto your mirror. And then it has an LED light. That way you can see better. When us girls that don't have an eye or guys, um, it's hard to see to um, please your eyebrows, like, um, you know, pluck them, get around your eye, make sure your eye is clean and there's no pus in there. Um, I found that's really helpful actually. And it's kind of small, but it's really is helpful. So this is Coconut Rose Hydrating Facial Oil. And it says on here, apply a few drops into your palms and smooth onto clean face and neck. Can be used in the, okay. So let's just, can be used alone. And it says how many, a few drops onto your palms. And then it has like a little thing there. So I'm just gonna put, that was like five drops, I think. And then it says to put it on your face. This actually does not feel very oily. And I even added a little bit extra in my hand. I want to smooth it down my neck. 
And then after that, you basically you just take the roller and I will read the directions that way you guys can know. Um, but it says how to use, use, royal, use roller daily um, after cleansing, of course. Um, the large end of the royal roller is best for broad surfaces, while the smaller end is intended for delicate, harder um, areas to reach, like under your eye. I would use this part. Um, so basically, you just take it, and it didn't tell me what direction to kind of go in, but I'm going to start by going upwards, because gravity takes you down. And then you basically just roll it. You don't have to roll it for a certain amount of time. And then to go under your eyes, this one is my reel. I would just probably, I would probably go like that and just make sure you're really looking into a mirror. Maybe that magnifying mirror would be good. It's 10 times zoom. And over in this eye, I still have some fatty graph from a surgery I had. So it'll be nice to kind of just maybe make that a little more smooth than now after time. So I will say with both reviews, um, the head wrap is amazing. Um, I'm sure, you know, if I mess with it more, it would be a little bit prettier on my head. Um, and that one is by Sleek. And it's like, like I said, you can get on like Amazon, 15, 20 bucks. Um, and then I use the, the pair of um, lessons and it is for the oil and the roller. And it run, ranges about 20, $25 on Amazon. And you can always probably go to like another store and get it cheaper. I'm not really sure. But that's my reviews for today. Um, it does work really well around my prosthesis. It doesn't make my face feel too oily. So if you have oily skin, it shouldn't really affect it. If it does, put a little powder makeup on afterwards. So um, thank you for watching my video. I just wanted to you know, get in here real quick and send one. And you guys have a wonderful day. And if you have any questions about prosthesis or how they work or anything at all, just comment in the link below. Um, and I'll be more than happy to address and answer all questions. Thanks guys.